Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today this is the third instalment I believe of removing the front balance on my Rover P4 as it needs quite a little bit of renovation and restoration. Now I have off camera removed the bolts from the studs that hold the valance to the wings as you can see there. Now we'll go into that in a bit more detail after I've removed the valance but first of all I need to remove I think it's six I don't think it's eight bolts which will allow me then to remove the valance and we'll have a look at it uh, have a look at it in a bit more detail after that. Also there's quite a bodge which I've uncovered uh, while I was under the car so we'll have a look at that as well. It's quite surprising to be honest but we'll go into that in a bit more detail. So first of all off camera I'll take the balance. Well that was a right faff. It's taken me about 30 minutes to get four bolts out uh, from just inside the wheel arch that hold the uh, sides of the balance panel on. Uh, they're 7 16 bolts and there are the offending bolts and it wasn't the fact that they were rusted or seized or anything they came off relatively easily once I was able to get something on to hold them. You can't use a socket because the wall of the socket is too thick. Uh, you can't get a ring spanner on, so I had to use an open-ended spanner and a very thin-walled socket there that you can see. And it was a gradual uh, winding off. So I've now got two bolts left to undo, and they are slightly larger bolts, and they are located just inside that aperture. I can't get an angle to show you them properly, uh, but yeah, there you can see one. So one that side, and one that side you can see. So I'll take those off and then hopefully we can remove the balance panel. It's about 15 minutes later and those bolts I showed you uh, weren't really the ones I should have taken off. Um, yes, to separate it from the uh, this panel here. Uh, but I had to take the grill off to gain access to, if you can see, just about see down here, a bolt head. Now I need to get a grip on that which is why I've had to take the grill off in order to undo the last two bolts. One there and one down here. If you can see it. I don't know the angle. Yeah, just about. So I'll just take those off and then hopefully the balance panel will just come off as sweet as a nut. But let's see. Hmm, okay, well this is taking longer than I thought and it's just access to a couple of really stubborn nuts and bolts. I, I showed you these two bolts here and here which should release the bottom balance. Uh, but access is really difficult and the, the nuts seem a little bit seized so I've soaked them in penetrating oil uh, which should help either release them or if it doesn't then I'm just going to grind them off and get some new nuts and bolts. Uh, probably in stainless to stop them uh, corroding together again. Now to make it easier I'm going to have to remove this for want of a better description the front apron. Um, now all I needed to do to take this off is release two bolts which go here and the side 
here and the same on the other side. Now again I soaked them in penetrating oil for a while but uh, they were absolutely sea solid uh, which means that they actually if I can get them they actually uh, sheared so obviously you've got to get some more of those so now hopefully this will just pull off and then I can get access to those nuts so let's have a look okay so this should now just pull off yes and there we go now that's not in bad condition it's uh, a little bit of surface rust but nothing to worry about so that can be touched up so now hopefully I can get access to these two bolts and see if they actually come off without shearing well it's the day after the night before and I'm still struggling to get these two nuts and bolts down here and there's the head of the or rather the nut on that side now that appears to be 9 16 Whitworth uh, which is different to that side there but I cannot get a grip enough to um, actually undo them and I think they're just rusted on uh, coupled with the fact that I just can't get grip enough and a spanner on that side to uh, hold the nut or the head of the bolt steady. I thought about removing these irons uh, in order to try and drill, drill it out but again these bolts are seized and access again is not easy there and same for the bolts inside the bolt this part to the chassis so it appears or at least this is my take on the job i'm going to undo these bolts on the frame of it's, this doesn't hold the radiator on it holds this piece here so i'll have to undo this cable and then I can pull the lot off and this front bottom apron should come off with it and then that'll give me more access so I can actually drill out the bolts um, so that's what I'm going to try I'm not going to film it just in case I make a massive cock up um, but I'll come back if it works and of course if it doesn't so wish me luck okay we've removed all the bolts and released the cable from the bonnet latch so this surround here is now still attached by two bolts one there and one there which are proving a right pig to remove so now the bottom uh, front valance and the support for the bonnet latch mechanism should just pull out and then the theory is I should have better access to remove the bolts to release the front valance. Rather a convoluted way of doing it but I can't say I've got much choice to be honest uh, but yeah that's how it goes isn't it. So I'll just put you on the stand and let the fun begin okay so here it goes let's see if we can get this bugger off right it's all free that side it's just this side and i think i know what the problem is here and that is that when i was taking the nuts off the part there's a strip with studs in that uh, uh, you have to take the nuts off and then slide it off the stud but fortunately for me only one stud remains and that's here because all the others have sheared off so i've just got to try and manipulate it a bit to get it to come free somehow 
Oops. Press it on the floor a little bit. So it's caught on something else as well. Hoorah! And at last. So now we have the front balance connected to this bit, which I'm not sure what it's called. Uh, but it supports the uh, bonnet latch release. So what I'm going to do now is take it into the garage, I'll put the car away. Actually, before I do that, I'll show you a few more odds and sods which have come to light um, when I've been re trying to remove this. So I'll put this safe for a second and then we'll have a closer look at some other bits and pieces. I've used the word rabbit hole a couple of times while removing the front balance or trying to remove the front balance and I didn't expect to end up in a position where I've taken a lot of the front of the car apart. However, uh, it's one of those things where you reveal more than you expect. So this here, where I had to grind a little bit, that was cracked already and you can see that needs repair. There's rust apparent under there. And there's rust in the bottom of here. So really this needs to come off and be treated properly. And the same over here. This is a bit better, but I need to strip the paint off to see exactly what's going on. But you can see this wobbling. Now, the bumper support here is rock solid. And this is attached to the chassis. Now, I don't know what the part is called, but uh, it's under there. Now, this one, if you look at it, is wobbly. And you can see in there, get a little bit of light on it if I can. In there, zoom in a little bit. It's rotten, as you can see. But I'll uh, get more access to that and I'll show you in more detail what's gone on and what I need to do. But it certainly needs either a new component or new part of the chassis rather, or part of the support for the bumper iron. Right, so I tried to remove the nut and bolts with uh, a socket set and spanner, but I've only got one Whitworth uh, socket, and I don't have any Whitworth spanners. So it was a bit of a pig, taking into account that they are fairly seized after having a, at least a day's soaking. Uh, so I decided to take the uh, Neanderthal approach and grind the head of the bolt off because access to the nut uh, was still um, a little bit uh, claustrophobic, shall we say. So anyway, as you can see there, if I just zoom in a bit, it's now free. Both have been ground off and so now at long last, you can separate and have on its own the front valance. So first of all, we're going to look at the front valance and see what sort of condition that's in and whether it's worth saving. And then we'll have a look at this. Uh, Let's have surround. a look at this front valance in a little bit more detail. Now I did mention earlier on, I think it uh, must have been a first or second video, that the uh, valance is attached to either wing by a set of studs. Now if we look over here, and zoom in a little bit, you can see the stud evident there. And that is attached to a strip of metal that runs 
behind, at the back of the valance rather. Now you can see there that that stud has ripped out. And there we go, just ripped out. That one survived, but on the other side, if we have a look, both studs have ripped out. Now, I think you can get these strips. I don't think they're that expensive, to be honest. I think they're, they're about a fiver or something. So I presume that they are uh, spot welded in place. That's the only thing, the only way I can think of uh, attaching those. So that'll have to be redone before it goes back on, if I decided to keep this. Now, do we renovate or replace? Now, I've always been of the opinion that I'd rather renovate something with the original panels rather than buy a new panel. Also taking into account that the new panels, if you can get them, are about £130 plus the VAT, I believe. You can get fiberglass ones for about £80, but I certainly don't want to go down that route. So I think this is in good enough condition for me to uh, strip down so long as there's not any major corrosion that's going to get in the way of me repairing it and repainting it. So, yeah, the rest of it, although it's been heavily under sealed and it's got rust here. And yeah, that's rust, I believe, and mixed in with under seal. Um, and let's go across here. And as you can see, there's drips of paint there. So someone's painted this without prepping this side. And as you can see here, this is this is metal. And that looks like rust, ah, rust and dirt. So it needs a total strip down. And if we have a look at the other side, turn it around. It's just really gobby. I've shown you that part there and I suspect that once I start stripping all this paint off that's just crazed, it's going to be rusty all over. So the only way forward is to strip all the paint off this front valance and then see what it's like. So what I'll do, I, I don't suppose you want to watch me stripping paint off something, so um, I'll do it, I might put a couple of uh, shots in of me doing that, but I'll come back when I've fully stripped it and we can have a look to see whether it's actually worth saving or whether there's welded bits, broken bits, the rust's gone too far. I mean, here, it, oh. yes, it's gone through, so, We'll have a look. I mean, that, that can be repaired, to be quite honest with you. Um, but then I've got to buy myself a welder, which I'll be meaning to do for a while now. Anyway, that's that part. So now let's have a look at the bonnet lock and the support. Uh, this looks in pretty good condition, to be honest, if we get close. Again, it's... Uh, scabby in a few places but the rust is certainly not as extensive as in the uh, front valance and while I've got this off it just needs stripping down again and and painting. Summarise then so there we've got the valance which was the subject of this exercise to remove it and then uh, fix it if possible that I think I can do the front apron there uh, just is in very good condition just a little bit of surface rust here and there and uh, good paint and that'll be as good as new the grill looks in very good condition to be honest um, but I'll take off all the metalwork behind it and just make sure that it's in good condition to go back on the car. Uh, you know, do a job once, eh? And then 
that bit there, the frame that supports the bonnet lock, that will be given uh, liquor paint and refurbishing as well. So that means I've got a fair amount of work in the next couple of weeks to finish this job. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in seeing how much progress I make on this and where it's going and what it's going to look like, if I run into any more problems, um, everything can be solved to be honest, uh, if you put your mind to it. Although this has taken a bit of brute force to uh, to do in many respects. So anyway, I'll stop waffling. This video has gone on probably long, long enough now. Uh, so please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. And bye.